So I'm pretty much ready to play root at this point. Um, I've set up. Now the setup is determined by what cards you have dealt to you. So you pick a character <laughs> or, or a faction that you're playing and then you get your cards and then you get to make all other decisions. So for example, for the cats, their setup is pretty much this, no matter what, but there's one corner that they have, and this is a token, it doesn't take up a slot, I was wrong about that. Uh, they, they pick one place where they have their keep and that kind of centers their power uh, with some buildings in that area. And then that means the Erie is going to be down here now. Based on the Aries cards, they could make different decisions, but I feel like at the beginning, the Despot may be the best choice. Here's the problem. He has move and build. Now, you want to get some buildings built right away to start collecting up victory points as the Erie. But on the other hand, um, you, some of your other leaders are kind of cool, like uh, uh, this move and battle is a, is a pretty good one to have as a start. Uh, because you'll do more damage and you're unlikely to do a lot of damage with these dice um, But you don't really need to do a lot. You just need to do one at the beginning of the game So I'm not really looking at that as that big a bonus um, One of the problems though is This means I have to constantly be expanding I have to be moving into new areas where I'm allowed to build and take control of them and that's not trivial however this may be the easiest time to do so because there aren't a lot of cats on the board. And remember, I move uh, one bird into an area with one cat and I got control of it. Yeah, because I win ties. Uh, for the Woodland Alliance, they have almost nothing to do <laughs> in terms of choosing setup. Uh, they start off the board and will be a rebellion. But for the Vagabond, I had major decisions. One is one of the three character types to take. Now, my gut instinct is, hey, they're raccoons, make it a thief, or it's a raccoon, make it a thief. Uh, however, looking at my cards, I had something I wanted to build, namely um, the crossbow. Cards aren't very useful to the raccoon, or to the vagabond. He likes to pass things, let's just call them by what they are, <laughs> to the raccoon. Um, he just kind of uses them to give to other players. Um, so he wants quantity of cards, but he doesn't really care too much what they are. He kind of doesn't want them to be anything good. But one of the few exceptions is things he can build. And I had one I could build that gets me a victory point and it gets me a thing that I want. So that seemed pretty cool. Um, it also gives me an extra bag so I can carry more crap. Um, and we'll see. we'll see how that all works. I picked a starting location that matched the card I want to build, and it also has a ruin in it, which makes life a little easier. I don't have to expend as much stuff. I don't remember what the hell the torch is for. <laughs> Certainly helps with some of these, and then I draw a bunch of quests. And these are things that I can do, and I actually have fend off a bear, and I'm in the right place for that. So that's kind of a bonus, um, and it gives me more cards and everything. So. Um, Right away, I'm set up with that. This is the quest deck here. And I think we're about ready to play. And that's enough for right now. I'm feeling a little under the weather today. I haven't been really able to start, but uh, let's get a little bit in, see where it goes. I didn't even get to cut any wood today. We open up, speaking of cutting wood with birdsong, we get a wood at each sawmill. Boom. We go to daylight crafting. Okay. So here we look at our cards. Now, if I had two crafting locations, I could build this better burrow bank, which I'd like to be able to get to. That's kind of neat. But otherwise, uh, I don't have a I don't have a production place in a mouse, so I won't be able to do that. And I don't have two foxes, so I can't create anything right now. Now I get three actions, um, and then I can spend birds to buy more. Now, what I'd like to do is build things. Um, wood is sort of my limitation. 
I'm in a fox area, but I don't have another building here, space here, so I can't build there. However, I am in other fox areas. So what we have to actually do is look at this. So build is in a clearing your rule. So I could actually build more wood in a fox area, or um, I could build a crafting in the bunny area, but the problem is I set myself up so that I have the recruiting in this one, which I did because of its centralized location. Now, there's probably another bunny that I'm in. It's because I'm all over the board. It's not necessarily bad for me to build down here instead. Um, so that's a possibility too. So basically, or I could build a crafting here to get myself um, some quick victory points. <clears throat> we don't know that I'm going to be winning by victory points, but I certainly want to get buildings. I'm going to say I want to build a sawmill, and I'm going to build it in a fox. So I have to spend a wood. Well, and it has to be in a place I can, I can trace back to my wood. I'm going to spend it here. I spend my wood. That gets me a victory point. Okay. That's one of my three actions. <laughs> okay. Uh, I could recruit. Is that a horrible thing? It gets me an extra piece, but I don't know how big a deal one extra piece is right now. Um, however, my other options are pretty limited as well. I could overwork and place <laughs> all my sawmills are in foxes, so I can't create more wood that way. Uh, so I think I'll recruit for my second action, and that gets me another cap. And then, I don't know. I hate the idea of wasting one of my cards, but I don't have anything in mouse, do I? Oh, I can't do anything useful with that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could march some troops. I'm worried about these guys. Uh, these guys. Because they can kind of pop up anywhere, and I kind of feel like, unlike the two-player game, where the birds and the cats were fighting each other. Uh, my wife and I were playing. Here I've got kind of a, I need to actually maintain something everywhere. Uh, in order to do that, I think I'll do a move. Uh, I don't know, I can't really do anything of value with him. I think what I'll do is move closer uh, to the birds. So I get to do Two moves. I'll move here. And now if I only wanted to move here, I could move both of these here and one back. But I think I think this is the more valuable location. So I'll move here to where the raccoon is. Okay, that was a lot of thought for nothing. And I get a total of one card for this turn, which I'll quickly look at. Okay, and that's a capability. All right. Go to the birdie. Bird song, I have to uh, add a card to my decree. Now this is my main use of cards. It's weird because each player uses their things differently. Ambush, this is really useful to keep in my hand, although because it's a bird, it's useful to have in my decree. However, the more birds I have in my decree, the more costly things are. Um, if I want to craft, I have to spend a card, and in this case, it would be a mouse crafting. I have a bunny space right now. I could expand to a mouse after my option to craft. Uh, this is not a bad card for me to craft. Uh, 
this is a useful card to have, but I'm probably far from gaining it. So what do I want to do with Bunny? Is there anything I could do? Well, anywhere I put this right now, I'd be screwing myself. Except Recruit. If I put this in Recruit, I've got a roost here. I can just keep cranking troops. So that doesn't seem like too bad a thing to do. <laughs> There's a weird kind of thinking that goes to these. I'm not going to play two cards. Two cards starts creating too big a decree, so you start having trouble with it. And then in daylight, I can craft using roosts. What did I give up? Something I wanted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do not have a mouse roost, so I can't. And now I resolve the decree. First thing I do is I recruit. And I get another bird. If I run out of birds, I'm in trouble too, so I've got to make sure to get rid of them slowly. I'm allowed to move anywhere, and then I'm going to be allowed to build where I move. Uh, this is connected to a couple of spaces. This is connected to a couple of spaces. This is connected to a couple of spaces. They all seem pretty equal. So now the next question is, what about foxies? Uh, I'm not sure I terribly want to do this. I'm going to move by two units there, and I'm going to build a roost here. And I am done with my decree. And now I get a victory point because I have a single roost built. And I draw a card, which is an ambush. Okay. Take a little pause as I get ready for some of the character types that I haven't really seen. This is especially, well, these are both kind of difficult for me. This one's especially requires some thought because I think I'm going to be basically placing sympathy counters somewhere using um, the spread sympathy capability. And I need to figure out what with my cards I want to do with that. So. Since I haven't faced this before, I do have to think a little more than I do with the cat and the bird, which, you know, I've played, I've played one and watched the other played, you know. This is kind of weird. <coughs> I've got three cards here. Two of them are dominance cards. Now, I shuffled the crap out of this deck. So, um, this one, you win if you rule the two opposite corners at the start of bird song. It gives everybody a chance. To knock you out. And this one you win if you rule three rabbit clearings at the start of Bird Song. In both cases, putting these out at this point might be very dangerous. Um, essentially, the cat could pick either one of these out. Here's two opposite clearings, right? Two opposite corners and three rabbit clearings is probably pretty easy for him. So I'm kind of in trouble in terms of not having a lot of supporters I can use right off the bat. Um, so I'm going to do this. I can't revolt because I have no sympathetic clearings. I'm going to hold off on playing these because they scare me. And I'll play the favor of the foxes, which allows me to put, cost me one, a support in a fox space. Now... Mobilize allows me to throw cards into my supporters. Train allows me to move warriors into the officer box. Okay. So, I've got some rabbits and a mouse. Let's look for foxes and what we want to do. And we got to think about this because... If anybody moves warriors into a sympathetic clearing, we get cards from them. And in battle, we use the higher roll. Now, these are tokens. These can be destroyed by attacking them. You can attack the sympathy. That causes outrage, though, which bonuses me, so it's not that terrible. Um... I'd rather stay away from the birds. They look scary. This has to be a fox. There aren't a lot of foxes on the board. 
this is pretty full already. I'm going to place it down here as the best place to grow. I am not going to play either of these. So now we go to daylight. I can craft using sympathy tokens. Well, I don't have any fox cards here. I can mobilize or I can train to build a new, new officers. Here's the problem. I don't have any officers. I don't know how I get an officer. I've got to look at train because I don't see a way that I can get troops on the board, to tell you the truth. <laughs> uh, here's how we get it, through revolt. Okay, place supporters to match a sympathetic clearing. All right. Uh, so I could throw any and all of my cards into, into the pile. I honestly think I want to drop them all in there. I can take any number of times. Yeah, I'm going to throw all my cards into my supporters because I don't have enough supporters. Now it's evening. I have no officers. So I can't do anything. And I get a card. And yes, my start was kind of crappy, and in part it's because I, I drew those dominance cards, and I really don't want to play them yet. The Count might want to play them if they had them. All right, now we think about him. And yeah, I did most of my thinking in real time. I didn't really <laughs> do much there. Let's do our thinking online again. First, I'd get to refresh units. Everything's okay. I could slip. I think I want to be here. We may return back. Um, my cards are a mousy, which I could do this quest, but here's the problem. I only get plus one victory point per quest of that type. However, you gotta start somewhere building up your quests. Then my problem, let's see, I have a birdie, um, and I have this tax collector. I don't have anything I can craft over here, even though I took the craftsman. That may have been an error. Um, however, I'm able to move to another area. I've got boots, uh, and I can refresh my three base items. Okay, what I'd like to do... Would I rather explore and take an item from that clearing? I don't know what that item is going to be. I'm going to hold off on getting this. In fact, I can't do that because I don't have the crossbow. Jeez, I want to be in a fox clearing to get the crossbow. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to explore this space. In order to explore it, I expend my thingy. I remove this, it just goes away. I'll put it in the thing. And I have found another hammer. This is actually really cool because I could build this then, which is awesome. Okay. Now I want to move. I move here. I don't have to control things. That expends that. And I have two hammers. My choices are to create the crossbow that I could build this with. And I, I was thinking about something else. I don't know what I was thinking, why I started where I did. Um, however, I can't recover all my pieces if I do that. So what if instead I create this. Oh no, that costs two. Yeah, how about I create the crossbow? Um, what the hell? Yeah, I'll create the crossbow. That gives me a crossbow. Uh, a 
out of here. And I get a victory point. And this is one of the things, some of, most of the, <coughs> most of the, uh, the Vagabonds don't start with a lot of creation capability. This is really awesome because I can make my own shit. Um, and now, I still have some things left. I might as well shoot that crossbow, what the hell. I'll kill me a cat. That gets me a victory point. I'm going to put him like that. Did I just piss him off? <laughs> oh. I think I just made him hostile. Hold on. I took my victory point back because I wouldn't actually get that. You only get that for killing buildings. So here's the question. Do I want to kill cats? Make them hostile. It'll cost me two boots to move into their clearings once they're hostile. That, I don't have two boots. There are a lot of cats on the board. I don't think I want to do that. Um, so actually, instead of creating the crossbow and getting the victory point for that, although there is only one crossbow, our other option was to create a dagger. A dagger lets us attack. We, we don't want to attack. You know what? We'll still create the crossbow. We can create a dagger later. And we take the victory point. We do not use it to attack. There's nothing else I can really do here. But I could give cards away. What do I want with this card? Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I'll aid him. They don't have an item. It would increase this, however, and I'd get a victory point for that. Is that worth it? I don't think it's worth it right now. I think I'm gonna hold off on doing that. I'm gonna sit where I am. I'm allowed, okay. So, evening's rest. If in a forest, I repair all items, I'm not in the forest. I draw a card. Okay. We gotta keep an eye on ambushes because um, I discard down to five. And now I'm allowed six plus two per bag, so I'm allowed some eight items. I have five. I'm in good shape. These will get refreshed huh. um, at the beginning of my next turn. And I've made it around, around. Pretty exciting. All right, we'll probably be playing in a little bit less detail, uh, but you know, it's kind of hard because the, like a Euro and kind of like the coin games, you kind of want to explain what the hell you're doing across the board. And here it's like, I do this, I do this, I do this. Um, so I may stay with a little bit more detail than I've got right now. What did I want to do here? Nothing I could do. I do not have uh, a teapot. Pity. Well, maybe there's one under here. Let's keep looking in detail. All right, so I dropped a couple of wooden bird song. Now I'm allowed to craft. Let's see what I could craft if I wanted to. Um, my only workshop is over in bunnies. I don't have two bunnies. I can't. All right. Uh, what that means is I get to do my other things. Well, I clearly want to build. I could build another sawmill and start increasing my building capabilities, but I think I'd rather spend my two wood with two different builds. One for a workshop. What do I want to build? Uh, a mousey might be useful. Another bunny would give me more card draws. Second bunny would be good, I think. Uh, a little worried about what's going on here. Where's my other bunnies? I got bunnies here and here and here. So this is the only one that I could build in. Okay. So I'm going to expend this wood. It can make it there. Uh, and get myself another bunny workshop. That gets me two more victory points.
Um, I have another build available if I want it. The only thing I can build is a recruitment center. I don't control this, so I can't build there. <laughs> I'm going to spend that wood coming across here and build it down here. That's two actions. Now I can recruit and get some troops. Oops. I only get two. And I start building up a force. So I did two builds and a recruit. I could spend cards for other things. Uh, if I had a bird card, I could do an extra action, but I cannot. So instead, I just get a card. And I look. Okay. All right. I got to relight, and then we'll look at the birdies. Starting to get to trouble with the birds. Uh, first thing, I have to play one of these cards. Mousy. I'm in no mouse areas. I can't really do anything there. If I had a bunny, I could put that in move because I believe... Yeah, you move from a clearing with that symbol. So I could pretty much guarantee I'm constantly pumping units out of here, given that I have a recruit there. Uh, I already have one move though. This fox, as long as I'm able to pump units into there, a move from here would work. I have no capacity for fighting, however. And what is my bonus? I get extra victory points for fighting, for killing buildings. Hmm. My big goal is to build, though, so I'm going to have to get to new areas anyway. I think I don't really need this. If I put this here under move, I think it'll cause me less trouble in the overall. That fighting battles may not be, yeah. I really like fighting battles. The problem is I have to give up an ambush card and then this becomes two victory points when I collapse. Uh, and I also have to fight. Which isn't necessarily bad. I don't think I'm going to play that. I think I'm going to play this move. I think I'm going to get in trouble for this. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Um, I can craft using roosts. Oh, okay. This was the only card I could have crafted, and I can only craft it in a mouse region. I don't have one of them. It would be nice. It would get me a victory point, which, you know, are definitely good things, and it might get me a bonus uh, by the Vagabond working with me. But, and now I do my decree. I do my recruit. I get to move. Um... Huh. Move into here. I'll move one of these here that gets me control of that. And then I get to build, I'll build this. I'm going to build this up here because it's further from my other roost, even though I'm not well defended. I could have left this completely. I'm a little worried. There are a lot of cats around. Uh, just doesn't seem safe. Okay, now I go to evening. I get two victory points. And remember, 30 wins the game. We're you know, making some ground. I draw a card plus one for this, so I get two more cards. Let me just peek at them. I got a two mouse crafting, or no, a two rabbit crafting. I'm not in two rabbits. I got a two mouse crafting, which 
conceivably I could craft something here that would give me the scattering value. I'm not affected by ambushes. That would save me a lot of trouble. I might be able to start getting rid of those ambushes uh, because they serve as their defense, remember? All right, now over here. Okay, a revolt cost me two supporters in a sympathetic clearing. Well, my only sympathetic clearing is a fox. I don't have two supporters, so I can't revolt anywhere. Um, which means I can start spreading joy. Now, in order to do this, I have to kind of worry. So, for example, I could, sm I could build this if I'm in a rabbit clearing, a uh, mouse clearing. Sorry. This would require me to be in a mouse clearing too, but I don't have an easy way to get into a mouse clearing except by playing this. So I'm going to spread sympathy with this and look for a mouse clearing. Do I want locality? Uh, do I want my stuff to be next to each other? I have more capability of defending it if it is. Um, however, again, I'm a little afraid of the birds. A little afraid of the cat headquarters too, though. So I'll place that. That gets me an immediate victory point. And uh, I could spread more sympathy if I want. This is two rabbits. Get a move. You know, I don't think it hurts me at this point to spread some sympathy into a rabbit area too. This is my last one point sympathy space though. How come I've only gained two points? I should have gained three. Did I move somebody else? Jeez, I don't know. I've got four victory points I should have collected for the cat. <laughs> I've got to pay attention here. This is not working. Uh, three that I've collected. I actually should have collected four for these. One for the first turn. No, two for the second. I'm good at three there. This should be at three. And him, I think, is indeed at one. I'm not going to be able to fix those easily uh, if I fall behind, though. Hopefully, I will be better when I'm not looking on the, uh, when I'm not as much on video. Okay, so first thing I can craft using sympathy, I will craft this. Now, essentially, this is a mousy space. This should flip over something to remind me that I've used it if I wanted to do more crafting, but this is now gone, and I've created the smuggler's trail. This goes here. Did anybody else build anything? Just him. Okay, so I get a victory point for crafting. Um, what else would I want to do? Yep, I couldn't do that. I can't craft from there. That victory point goes away. Okay, we put these back. We look at my de my hand. This is what I have. I could create this. Um, or I could throw it into here. <sighs> what would I do with a mousy? A mousy is not going to help me much. It would take two to get additional sympathy. So I'm going to craft this, I guess. And what I do is I craft a boot instead. That gets me my victory point. And this goes away. And I don't know if I'm doing a wise thing there. <laughs> uh, but the Vagabond can buy that from me. Maybe get a card. I don't know. I really need to get a revolt going. And I don't have the two similar cards. Except if I put this dominance card. And I may need to do that. I'll... There's no military operations. Because I don't have any leaders. And now I draw a single card, because that's all I get until I form a base, and it's another fucking mouse. Great. 
All right, let me take a little break just to psych up for doing the Vagabond. No matter of taking a drink, but... All right, first thing I get to do is I get to recover three items, or refresh them. Not damaged items, used items. Uh, then I can slip, and again, this is something I need to think about. I gotta look at my cards, look at what I can do. I'm in a fox clearing. If I had tea, I could do something. I think I'm gonna stay where I am. If I wanna go somewhere um, to craft, I could craft this weapon, so I'm okay. So yeah, I'm gonna explore, and I turn over my light. I get a, a victory point. I actually should be up two victory points. Because not only did I craft an item, the crossbow, but I explored a thing. So this was actually also wrong. Everybody was kind of back one. I discover a dagger. Okay. Well, that's not precisely what I wanted. All right. Now, items that aren't able to fit in my satchel are removed from the game. So I'm in some trouble here. I've only got space for two more items. Uh, but, and I don't really know if I want to craft this <laughs> to make multiple attacks. Basically, any time I attack, I spend one of those. But I can always ditch it or something, I guess. So let's look at what we want here. Well, I can't craft shit like this, can I? Yeah, all hammers match your clearing. The hammers are just hammers. Um, I will never be able to craft this. So that's actually probably a useless card for me. Um, ambush is always useful in case somebody gets pissy with me or I want to launch an attack. And with two daggers, attacking might not be that bad an idea. Uh, I could start lighting up the cats. Or, what was the other thing I could do? I could fend off a bear, but I can't do that now. I didn't find tea. Why don't we explore a little bit more? Get those clearings before I start thinking more about things. So I, I'm not going to need the dagger yet. Um, I'm going to expend to move up here. I only have one boot. If I get a second boot, maybe I can fight the cats. But uh, I can't do another explore. I have one more piece I could use. <laughs> There's nothing I can safely do here, though. Uh, nothing I need to repair. What am I in? I'm in a bunny. That's a dagger and a light. That's kind of nice, too. So I can do that one more easily. The problem is exploring takes my light. I'm going to give this... Didn't I give him a card before? Shit. <laughs> Oh, I swear I gave him a card, which should have increased his value. But I'm not positive. Give a card matching your clearing. Did I give him a fox? I don't know if I did or not. Uh, I don't think I did. I'm going to give him a fox now because I seem to have lost this. That pushes this here. Now I get an extra victory point. Now I'm making friends with the cat, which maybe I don't want to do. Uh, I'm going to call this the end of the day. It's evening. I draw one card. So this, if I build it, is a nasty combat card. Uh, permanent brutality. I discard down and I remove items from there. I still got room for a couple more. All right. Oh, again. My two wood again. Now, this is interesting. I'm at five cards. I need to spend cards. 
Most of my things don't spend cards. Uh, overworking does. I have mills only in foxes, so I could spend a fox for that. Right now, my only production is to build a burrow bank. I'm going to do that. I have a production here, a production there. Those are my only two. I'm going to craft this. At the start of Birdsong, from now on, I get to draw another card. And that's how I'll mark that uh, capability that I've built. Okay. Now I get my three actions. I could burn an extra one with this. Though this is kind of a nice thing to have. Oh. Uh, what would I like to craft? Well, I got two bunny crafting. That doesn't really help me. A fox helps in either of these. So I am going to build a workshop in a fox. I would like to keep these close to where I'm safe, which right now looks like it's here if I'm building foxes. That gets me two more victory points. My crafting didn't get me any victory points. I didn't craft an object. Oh, I know why he didn't give something. Because he didn't get anything from it the first time. But I think getting a victory point is cool. And um, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, I don't remember how these go back. I think Obviously, they go to hostile if you do nothing. But by not getting anything, I kind of screwed up. Uh, do I want that? I don't know. I mean, my, I'm not at card limit. You know what? See, the problem is he kind of is deciding his turn based on this. Fuck. All right, we'll leave it be, but I, I don't like what the scavenger did there. He, he basically didn't get anything by giving a card away. But he doesn't really have a use for his cards, other than crafting them. And this one could never be crafted. But he could give it to somebody in some other circumstances. And I couldn't do it anyway. Yeah, I did it early in my turn. Okay, sure. Um, okay. So, we did a build. Recruit is probably always a pretty good idea. Get some more cats. But now what? Um, attacking this doesn't do me much good. Uh, I can just set him back. That's all I can do. Um... don't really have any. Attacking birds seems like a good idea. They're going to gain victory points if I don't. So I get two moves. Eh? I'll move here. That gets me three guys in there. And I'll move here. Getting me three guys in there. Now I can make a battle. Um... This one has more building spaces. I'm going to attack there. Okay, the bird gets to look for an ambush. He is in a mousy space. He has a mousy ambush. He's going to play that. Unless I have an ambush, I'm affected by this. Uh, so that's two immediate hits. Two cats are killed. I can blow this. I do not look like I'm going to get anything. So I'm going to expend this to save one of my two cats. How many victory points do you get? This is the question. Okay. I think the wire does die. Uh, but there's no victory points for killing, killing cats. Is there? No. Okay. Uh, so now the battle happens, and we're at one, and the birds are at one. 
The die roll is a one and a zero. We kill a single bird. And the birds are still in control here. Uh, we have finished our three actions, I believe, which means we'll be getting just a single card. And it's a royal claim. Discard this to score one point per clearing you own. Ooh. Huh. So I think I can craft this with any four crafting places. This is just begging for me to you to build. Right now, I've got three crafting. If I can get a fourth one, that looks pretty sweet. Okay. We shift down to the birdies, and I need a little bit of a break. It's useful, especially for the cats, but for anybody who's kind of facing other players, is to look at what the other players might be doing in order to improve their position. So for example, um, or, or look what they need to do. And the birds are especially a good target for this because I can look and see, I can throw them into turmoil if they can't do this. I can make it so they can't do this. So in this case, moving from a fox area, had I done my attack here, I might have made it very, very difficult for the birds to succeed. Now. They have two moves, so they could do their first move to move a pile of troops in here and second move to move up. So I couldn't prevent them from that, but a recruit and a rabbit, recruit is dangerous. So if I can knock them out of here, I could guarantee that they're gonna go into failure and not get a turn. Okay. Well, let's look at what their cards are. Uh, they got a bunny. <laughs> I could just recruit more bunnies. <laughs> that would make it harder to knock me out of there. Um, and what are, what are my build capabilities right now? Mousy, fox, rabbit. I don't have any crafting uh, that I have to do. I don't have any cards that I can craft. Um, this is tempting. Either this or this. Mm. Uh, Recruit again. I just don't think that this is going to be able to be taken from me. I do not want to play two cards unless I've got like something huge going on. Uh, you generally don't do that. I get two recruits. Now here's the danger is that I'm going <laughs> to run out of pieces to recruit. My moves. I can't move out of here easily unless I move into there. So, we want to grab control of that at the very least. We do not conduct any battles. How about that? Uh, I think we'll leave this as it is. I'm in a little too much danger exposing there. And then my other move, I'm just going to push one guy out here to make sure that I do that. I have a build. I drop this into place over here. I'm set up for that, so I'm in good shape there. And uh, now I go down and I score three victory points. I don't think I wanted to craft anything. Let me make sure. Uh, no, I was not able to craft. I get two cards. Getting additional cards is one of the bonuses. Um, you know, as you start developing yourself, that gives you more, more things you can do to some extent. But what do the birds use cards for? The birds use cards to fill this pretty much. I don't think they do much else with them. They can craft them. Everybody can craft. These guys, they use their cards to fill this, you know. <laughs> he uses his cards to give them to other people. The cat... Overwork. Uh, that's about it. So it's kind of weird. You have these cards, but they're not really like CDG style ops cards. <laughs> you know, I, I think of them in that fashion, but they really don't count in that fashion. I was playing the birds. I was really confused that like the cats didn't seem to worry about cards, whereas I'm really concerned about my cards but not out of my hand, you know? It's just kind of this weird, weird way of thinking. 
Uh, let me take another little break. I really need them between each, each character. I'm having fun. I just need to recuperate and assess the position uh, before I start. I do you have a capacity to revolt? But only by, yeah. I, I would have to use the bird dominance. Yeah, I, I thought I had, oh, I have a bird. That's great. I don't want to do the revolt. I hate this because I'm really having trouble getting anywhere. Um, so I won't be able to spread sympathy either because I just don't have crap here. I've got this mousy card. I'm not, I'm in a mousy province, so I probably want to, uh, dump this into here. I don't really want to craft this. Let's look at another player's hand. That's potentially useful. I never like these cards. Um, certainly less when I'm playing opposed, but even or less when I'm playing solo, but even opposed, I have trouble remembering what I look at. I, it's definitely more valuable in there for me. That's all I get to do basically this turn, which means I again get a single card. Hey, it's another mousy. That's useful. On to thinking. Problems I have with the the Tinker card here. His special ability is the torch. Well, I have a torch to start with, great, but I'm exploring. You know, <laughs> I kind of um, am using my torch. So his special ability has kind of been knocked out by the need to explore. And speaking of which, I refreshed my items. I don't want to slip. I am going to explore this space. And I get an extra boot. And that puts me in a better position to attack cats now. I also get a victory point for this. I do not have tea. The only built item out there that I could trade for is with the woodland people. I'm kind of far from them. I could walk there. I have a couple of boots. What do I want to do? Uh, I am in a bunny area. Bunny takes a light and a dagger to succeed at this. They all take a fucking light. I need a light. <laughs> I could move to a fox and build this, get myself two victory points and another dagger. Then I'd have a full, full load of stuff though, which I don't know how much I like. Um, hmm. Gosh, I don't know. If I piss cats off, it doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot to me. Like, I'm not really something people want to attack. <laughs> it doesn't do them much good. Uh, I'm far away from the last exploration space. I could, of course, give somebody this so I have something to trade for. Uh, What does this do? It moves a piece. That would make it very easy to attack these. Destroy them. Set the cats back a little bit. Do I care? Oh. I kind of... I don't know. I feel like I don't have much else to do. All right. Let's spend a boot. Means I can't trade with the cats. I move there. I shoot them. That pisses the cats off. The cats could spend a fox to save that. I have one fox. I don't like this card terribly much. I'll save the cat. Okay. All right. Uh, now I can launch a battle. I have all of one sword. Why would I want to do that? Now I can build a dagger. 
That gets me two victory points. And now I can attack. I'll spend... I have a combat value of two for my max hits. He's undefended, so he has um, no need for a die, but I think I still roll two dice. But I do one extra hit, so I'm doing like plus three. No, I'm doing two max hits plus one. I succeed in destroying both of these which puts them back here. He can get the points for him again, but it's keeping him further from the higher points. And I killed two things, so I get two building points. Um, I also get plus one per hostile piece destroyed in battle, I believe. Let me look that up to make sure I understand that correctly. That is how it works. So I'm cranking points out pretty quickly there. Um, now, I believe I wasn't able to aid him. Um, huh. I may have played aid wrong. You may have to exhaust an item when you aid. If I screwed it up, I'm not going to be able to recover from it. Yeah, I can't deal with this rule book with this much table used up. Um, and I don't think the information is in here, but I may be wrong. Exchange, exhaust any one item. Yeah, I screwed up and, exhaust, and um, did not exhaust an item. I could have exhausted things, but I couldn't have recovered fully. Uh, we'll live with what we've got here, I guess. I'm pretty tired, though. <laughs> uh, which is definitely an issue. So I've kind of cheated in his favor, but he did give a card away that he didn't particularly want to. So we'll call it almost sort of even. And I draw a single card. I don't have any additional card draws. Why do I not have additional card draws? No coins. Okay. Now that's appealing, getting another anvil. Wow. Oh, I don't know how many things require you to have three of the same thing in the space though. But yeah, that's pretty tasty looking. Okay, and I am going to pause here for a little while because my battery situation is kind of crappy and whatever an observation i want to make about pre-planning a lot of euro games and some other games some of the coin games even require a decent amount of pre-planning of ah, i know i want to do this because of this and then when you come around to that player on their next time playing solo is particularly difficult. I usually lose track of what I wanted to do, especially because I take the breaks that I do. Um, and even playing opposed, I have some difficulty with that. I have to say, in this game, I don't really have that difficulty. So, for example, the Eerie is the hardest thing to play in terms of pre-planning, I think. What you do is you look, you know, you're, you're, you do have to program something in, but it's not like I'm programming this in for next turn. You're Programming it for your immediate current turn, and it may have effects later in the game. And those effects may come back to bite you, but it's all very much you're making a strategic decision for the long term as to your pre planning. You're not making a, ah, I need to do this on my very next turn, and if I set this up perfectly, it's great, and then if I forget it, it'll really suck, you know? And then, for example, with the Vagabond, I'm looking, well, when do I actually do my recovery? I don't refresh my units down here in the evening. So many games have that. Uh, the, um, you know, figure out what you're going to do on your next turn in some sort of post-turn thing. No, you've got it right up here at the beginning of your turn when you can figure out what you're doing is going to have to be done 
very soon afterwards. And that is the same thing with the Woodland Alliance. You're not like doing this kind of pre-planning type stuff that's just one turn in advance where other players could screw with it. Um, I find that really, really disturbing for a couple of reasons. Not just what I was talking about, about the, uh, well, in addition to the forgetting what the fuck I was trying to do, there's also another side of it which only really impacts solo terribly much, which is I'm planning for my next turn with player, and I had this um, time of crisis, really had this, where you're picking your cards for your next turn, a turn in advance. It's kind of cool because you don't know what the other players are going to do, so it adds that layer of uncertainty to, to you know how well your actions are going to actually work. But the disadvantage to it, and what I really hate, is that I have to figure out exactly what my turn is going to be for my next turn, what my imp plan is going to be and then a I might forget but B the fact that it might get foiled or mucked with uh, makes it even harder to remember and here I'm able to look at my things and make the decision the only thing that I have to say that's a little different is throwing cards into your supporters for the Woodland uh, Alliance but <laughs> I don't feel like I'm terribly boned by those actions, you know. But for example, this guy, you know, I make my decision which things I'm going to refresh on my turn when I have all the information available to me that I need. Um, I don't have to wait a turn to make, you know, to figure out whether or not it worked properly. I just like, I like things to be uh, solid periods of thinking, not oh, I completely planned this out and it was perfect, but something screwed with it and now I have to spend my time rethinking it all. I just don't like that. <laughs> okay, so the kitty cat gained a wood. That's all he gets because that damn raccoon. Um, and now I can craft. Now, I have two crafting places currently. They're both bunnies. I have no bunny cards, so we skip that. Um, about the only thing I can do to the Vagabond is beat him up to try to break his objects. <laughs> a, I guess in a way it's kind of like killing warriors, you know? But it seems so much less impressive. And he doesn't have things that I can truly damage. Like, I can't get victory points off him. Um, okay. On the other hand, he is in the lead. <laughs> so, it might not be a terrible idea to schwack him. I'd like to aim towards things. What's the royal claim? Discard this to score one point for clearing your roll. Um... I would need two more craft shops. That's that's not going to be an easy card to get played. Armors, discard this to ignore all hits taken. That could be useful once. Uh, root T. It's mousies. Um, well, I only have one wood. That's kind of my prime problem here. So let's look for a safe place to build another sawmill. Yeah, there are no safe places, right? There's birds near there. Um, okay, so that's one action. Recruit, probably not a bad choice. I can only do it once a turn. And it keeps my population a little higher and I got one more and that's it um, where are my sawmills this is what I would like that's mousy can't do that this fox can't do that. All I have are bunnies. Um, I mean, I could spend. 
I could spend this card. It's worth two victory points, but I could spend that to overwork that mill, and I'm going to do it just because I don't have a whole hell of a lot to do and create another one of these. Um, I did not take my victory point for building my sawmill. All right, now we move on to the birds. Let's get to add to their decree. Some interesting options. Um, there's no crossbow to build anymore. So this card cannot build anything. Um, and I've got this, I can keep doing things with bunnies. Move out of bunny isn't painful either. I really wish I could get a battle going. Um, I could build this. As attacker, you are not affected by ambush cards. Yeah, we wanted to build this. Okay. So, we get to add a card to the decree. Um, this is very useful too. Uh, what do I have? I have the two mice. I do not have two bunnies. I'm, I'm going to play a bunny and move. Because I'm constantly building. That'll get me more mobility. I still don't have any comp, any capability to fight, but using up a card is somewhat painful. Um, when I hit craft, I am going to craft the scouting party. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't do that one-handed. This table has, a, has issues. <laughs> <coughs> But, uh, let's see, at least I can get it up here easily. Uh, after I craft that, I resolve the decree, which is two recruits. I really am going to need battle from somebody or another, eventually. Okay, moves. Well, we got to move out of Fox, we got to move there, and we got one more move. I got to build somewhere. Um... This looks like an obviously good place to build. Of course, some place like this I could get into with just one piece. So, I don't know. Uh, as here we can also get into with just one piece. All right, I am going to move out of Bunny. Let's take an extra one with us. Out of Fox. I have one more move. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Move down here. Okay. For my third one. Now I get to build one Eerie. Eh. Oh, I actually don't control this. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, I mean, the whole idea was to control it. Okay, let's move this extra one into here, and then we'll build. I don't like being that weak, but whatever. Uh, do I have another bunny? If I don't have another bunny, this is a problem. Yeah. I don't have another bunny. Oh, 
I'm so confused now though. I don't know how to recover it. Um, the nice thing is the cat does not control this. The cat does not control this. They do not control this. None of their pieces can move to here. So, unless they grow to controlling that. They could end up controlling this. That could be a problem. Um, but anyway. Score a victory point because I need that bunny space to keep my umpire alive. Uh, victory points, I get four. I've reached ten, which means if I had one of those... Um, what are these? Dominance cards in my hand. I could play this and set up so that I'd be close, you know, so that I'd have a new goal. And then at the beginning of my next uh, turn, um, for example, I control this. This wouldn't be that hard to get. If I had that one, I could set myself up so I have a win. The Whittling Alliance can work towards using these, but the problem is they're in their supporter hand. They're not in the right hand that they would want them in. Um, if they play them, they make them available to other players. And you can see the cat's getting close to 10 points. The raccoon, his isn't very valuable at this stage in the game. His is, I can team up with the last place player <coughs> and try to help them, and then we both win. Um, now we're over to the Woodland Alliance. And wow, this has gone longer than I want it. I feel like I've got to start playing. Um, I am going to revolt. Two supporters in a sympathetic clearing. Remove all enemy pieces there. A cat. This isn't killed in battle. Um, I shouldn't have actually been able to save that cat earlier. I think they can only do it if killed in battle. No, whenever it's removed. Okay, so does he have a bunny card? He does. this to ignore all old hits. I'm not going to save him. A building is destroyed. That's a victory point for green. Place matching base and wires there equal to total number of matching sympathetic clearings. This is where things get icky. I only have one bunny clearing, so I get the base and a single wire. But that increases my growth. Um, this isn't good, <laughs> but I'm just sick of not playing. This is available for anyone to pick up. If anyone has three bunny clearings, and the cat has two and isn't far from this third one. They might be interested in changing their victory conditions. I am not going to spread sympathy with the mouse. I want to create more units. Uh, so now we go over here. I could craft. I don't want to craft using sympathy. Uh, mobilize. Can I afford this one? Yeah, I think I can. I hate to spend this, but another bunny to move my officer. Shit, that makes me absolutely, yeah, I, I can't afford this. I probably shouldn't have gone at all, um, but what I was thinking was, well, then I can like, Spend that officer to recruit a troop. Yeah, 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 I'm in the same position. Yeah, I move that officer and create an officer there with train. Now I have a military operation. I spend my officer and I can recruit a wire here to replace that wire. And now I will draw two cards because I have a base. And that'll 
at least get me. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Oh, another fucking dominance, though. Um, that's sort of the best I think I can do. <coughs> now to the vagabond. <coughs> also, the characters. The cat may be the one that's least affected by this. <coughs> the vagabond kind of has to plan his whole turn at once. I find his planning a little bit harder than everyone else's. But I mean, honestly, the Woodland Alliance, you have to look at these two, figure out what you can do between the combination of them. With the bird, you have to constantly be looking at what you've got here and what you want to add to it. Um, so, you know, most of these, you have to do a lot of planning as to what your current turn is going to be. Okay. Let's push on with the Vagabond, I guess. First, I get three recoveries. This is where I have to plan for this turn. I don't know what I want to do, okay? Well, let's hold on that then. Slip. Okay, this is quite possibly valuable because I don't have a lot of boots. So, I might want to slip into the forest. Um... Now, that lets me repair items, but it doesn't let me recover, refresh items. So, <coughs> excuse me. If I'm in a clearing, I could do the day labor action. And I believe I can do that kind of at any time, which actually means I could just keep drawing cards. That doesn't sound particularly valuable. Um, cards aren't that important to me. What could I craft? I could craft things, but <coughs> unless I can craft a bag, I don't necessarily want that. I've got the Brutal Tactics. And I got the Arms Trader, which is worth victory points to me but I'd have to discard, I'd have to lose a dagger uh, that I might want to get at some point. So I don't know how valuable that is. I can't deal with the kitty cat. Um, the move is to enter hostile clearings. I believe that means one that's controlled by a hostile faction. This is controlled by the birds now. This is controlled by the birds now. So I actually have some places I can move. Let's look at what my possible quests are because that's about the best thing I can do. I can't do the one in the fox space. The other two are mousies. Mousies take me light and a crossbow. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to recover light, a crossbow, and... a boot because I'm going to move a boot, I guess. I don't know. A dagger because the cat might attack me. <coughs> All right. I'm not going to slip. Although by doing so, I could actually go down to the mousy here instead. Doesn't really make a difference. All right. Um... Kind of does. Yeah, let's slip into the woods. Okay. No, rabbit. rabbit no, no. The advantage of being down here is that we're actually... Let's slip up here instead. The advantage of being up here is that I'm getting closer to my exploration space. Um, okay. From there, I'm going to spend a movement. And I move into here. I am going to fulfill the quest, which is fend off a bear. That shoots these two. That gets me one victory point and a card, because I only have one quest done. Gives me an immediate card draw. Uh, this goes up here. 
I draw a new quest. Um, I have a couple of daggers. That's not very helpful to me. I had to spend something for the quest. Oh, the requirement. I could aid the birds. The birds also don't have anything in their hands. I'm not quite sure what's the value of that except getting victory points. Um... However, I'm collecting up too many cards. Which might be a reason to give something away. What do I not need? Well, ambush is useful. Brutal tactics. Do I want to give a bird card to the birds? Um, I don't really want a dagger belt. I'm almost, it's almost impossible for me to build this. Oh, but this is not matching my clearing. It would have to be a bird card. I might as well. <laughs> is there something I don't really want to build? I'm not going to build another dagger. So, and I'll spend my dagger to give him another card. That pushes the birds here, and I get another victory point. I really wish they had something I could take, but I don't have to. And now I'm down to four cards, which means that I'm allowed to draw a card. I would be allowed to draw one anyway, but then I'd have to discard it. This is appealing. These don't take up space in here. Uh, I mean, they show up in here, and then you get to shift them. <coughs> but the way it happens is you're fine. You don't, you don't end up losing something. So this would be very appealing if I got into a bunny rabbit clearing in order to build that. Of course, that just gives me more coins, which are more cards, which I don't necessarily need. Uh, that looks like it's going to be it for this turn. Not a lot of battle, a little bit of violence, um, some new options out there for victory conditions. And the Woodland Alliance is finally on the board. <laughs> All right, let's send this out.